Hello, my name is T.R. Welling, and I want to talk to you today about urology. Urology is a science that I have recreated from the, from ancient research, and I want to talk to you, today, to you today, right now, about the 19th day of January and the counts of Letha. Letha is midsummer. It, there has been 212 days from the la, from the last time that June 22nd occurred, and there's about and there is, is 100. 54 days until the next time that um, June 22nd occurs. 214 translates in the Elder Fudark as the letters of H and M. See, the Arabic number system wasn't invented yet. The Arabic number system 1 through 9 was not invented yet. The, but the Elder Fudark system was invented. And and. Almost all all language all ancient languages previous to the invention of, of Arabic, the characters were both letters and numbers depending on how they were used. So in this case, in this and and, and used this way, H and M translates to two hundred fourteen two hundred twelve, and the characters of one hundred fifty four translate to I and L I I and U excuse me, so. You have, and, and where, where these come from is that you have the Arabic number system is is, is a ten based number system, one through nine with with, with, the, with the the placeholder of a zero, zero one two three four five six seven eight nine, and then zero repeats, and then you have the, the next the next sequence, marked by um, the first sequence is, is by itself, then then you have one sequence out, out then you have two. At, you add a, add a two at the zero and then one through nine, then add a three at the zero and then one, one through nine. Well, the Arabic, the Elder Fudak number system is based on twenty four numbers, twenty four characters. So you have you have the first twenty four, and then you have the dagas is basically both d the the uh, it's, fe, it's fehu through dagas. And you have dagas is both a is both a zero and a character at the end of the language, so it it does both things at the same time. In fact, it even it it it's marked non um, non stylized. It's a it's and the hourglass the the d hourglass turns into a, an eight infinity symbol, which means that it's both the d of the character of D and the the zero the, and, and an O of infinity, and depending on how, how you change the, the the strip, it goes from the zero to infinity. So there there the, the Daga symbol is is both a D and a zero. So you have one through zero, Fehu through Dagas. Then you then the sequence goes into another C. Uh, then the D through F through through D repeat, and the and the second sequence has is marked with an F. So you have F through D, and then you have zero um, U through D, uh, F U, um, well U and then F, then to, to D for and that's instead of being thirty, that actually ends at seventy two because there's twenty four numbers in the, in the sequence. So you're dealing with the H is the is there's there's been nine of those sequences, and then you have the eight. The, then the M would be the twentieth sequence, the twentieth character in that sequence, and of course you have the I and the I and the U would be that'd be the um, the the tenth symbol symbol the tenth the tenth sequence, and the second character in that. The, the tenth sequence. These the months are divided into twenty four months of fifteen days, which makes the the month of Al and the day of K in the sequence of Yule. Now you put all the you put all these number all these characters together, and they start to create the the character of the characters of the elder of the Fudar, of the Hebrew. And the, the the characters of Hebrew then work about to create um, translate these these letter sequences 
create words, and then out of the out of those words, you then find um, Hebrew words that are then. Uh, so there's two languages being created in the structure of time itself, simply by a examination through, passing it through the Elder Futhark first into Hebrew, and then you have the basically a divine language created in the structure of time itself. Now this also applies to you because your birth date is a fixed point. And that birth date that you have that's a fixed point, you have your own 365 day count from the birth from one year birthday to the next year's birthday. And all your 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 numbers and counts, your characters create add to these to the to the 16 um the positive counts and the negative uh the how many how many days has been sin, since the last and how many day fixed point and how many days is it to the next fixed point and then your birthday is how many days has been since since your birthday how many days is it to your birthday you add all as well as all kinds of other accounts the the counts of your relatives the counts of how long you've lived where you're living um how long have you been in, in the, the country you are how long have you been in the state or the equivalency? All those numbers, all those characters mixed together, and you create words where you find repeat, uh, sequentially repeat um, letter uh, character combinations. And then, of course, you then put all that together with the, you then separate out the, the individual characters, say, of LF. Wherever you see A, L, E, and F, you will, that is the Hebrew character of LF. And then you put LF with other, other characters that create like Gimel and Mo and the like. You, you put all that stuff, you all that, that, that B-E-T, and so you put all that together and you start to create both Arabic, uh, you start to create both um, Scandinavian, Nordic, Runic, and uh, Norwegian words. You also create Hebrew words, and that those words will say something. What do they say about you? Um, this is Erdology. My name is Dear Welling. Thank you so much for paying attention. This is the accounts of Yule, of Aletha, and we will um, talk to you on another video. Thank you so much.